hello 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 what is up you guys welcome back to my channel here i am sitting in my sanctuary as i am allowing wapa to roam the backyard <sighs> you guys this is such a bittersweet moment such a bittersweet moment because if you've been active on any of my social media like instagram and tiktok you are seeing the updates on me finding Wapa a new home. Back when I decided to rescue her from my mom's neighbor, I knew I wasn't gonna keep her for a very long time. Matter of fact, ever since I got her, I was doing research to find a rescue place where I can take her and that would take her in. She's walking my way. At the time, the research that I did on my own led me to several rescue places. However, those rescue places unfortunately did not accept red-eared slider turtles, which is exactly what WAPA is. One of the places that I reached out to at the time was a place in San Diego, but unfortunately they were only accepting tortoises. The red ear slider turtles actually need water, so they're semi-aquatic is what they're called. So like 50% in the water, 50% out in the land. These turtles, if you go to parks, if where there are ponds, you normally see them roaming around by the rocks and basking so that the sun can hit them. So the few places that I ended up reaching out to at the time were not accepting aquatic turtles let's take a moment to look at her really quick as she is roaming the streets <laughs> she's silly she's silly so as you know her and i got very acquainted my dad actually was the one who named her when he was here and it's kind of like a full circle moment because i almost feel like there is a reason why god allowed her to continue to be in my life until now you know like to me everything is connected we're all connected and i know in my heart that i've been doing my very best to care for her and to give her a much better life than what she had in the past now though i know that I didn't create a pond for her or maybe didn't do what other people would have done themselves or what they would have wanted me to do. I know in my heart that I did the very best that I could. So <laughs> with that said, I am very happy to now come and tell you guys that I have found a place to take her. The other day while I was Googling again and, and researching a part from all of the information that so many of you guys shared on Instagram and on TikTok, I finally found a place that would accept her and that actually has a pond for her to be in in the meantime that they find her her forever home. And this place is called Koi Rescue here in Southern California. I went down on the page and though this organization has been doing things since 2008, that website was just created this year which i was like i know like i'm not crazy i know that this was not available when i was looking for it so i'm glad that it is available now and i'm glad that the resources are there now so that i can bring her to that rescue spot so we are gonna come along i just want to <laughs> come today and share with you guys my last days and my last moments with wapa or our last moments with wapa now really quick in my research i did find that they accept the turtles and to surrender her, all I had to do was fill out a request so that I could surrender her because it's not necessarily a place where I take her. They set up by an elementary school, I believe, and they have two locations where you can do drop-offs. Some are in the weekends and some are in the weekdays. And I believe they only accept drop-offs like once a month or twice a month, depending on the location that you're going to. I work Monday through Friday, so I chose the location that was available on Saturdays. So we are gonna be taking her on Saturday to this new place and to surrender her. So because you guys have been a part of our journey together since I got her and since my dad was here, I wanted to bring you guys along. I am extremely excited, as I said, bittersweet moment, but I am very, very happy that this is happening right now, that I'm able to find a home for her and that she is gonna be much happier than she currently is at this moment. I know she's happy, I can tell that she's happy because if she wasn't happy, she wouldn't be coming up to me. She obviously would try to bite me. She doesn't do that, you know, like she listens to me and she's super, super good. So you guys know that we've been here together 
Now, something that I had already researched and that I've been very vocal about because I think that it's necessary for people to know is that these type of turtles should not be released into the wild. And to contrary to popular belief, the reason why is that they most likely won't survive. Any reptile that has been in captivity does not have the tools or does not know how to, number one, look for food. Though they have instincts, it's different because now it's not just themselves. It's them with other reptiles or other turtles that are also fighting for the same food. And number two, these turtles are actually invasive. What that means is that they carry bacteria and they can carry diseases that affect not just the environment, but also wild turtles or other turtles. I had someone comment in one of my videos that I was wrong regarding letting them out in the wild and that they had owned turtles before and that it was okay. <laughs> I honestly, in that moment when I saw that, I was like, God, I really hope that this person has not released their turtles into the wild, but just take a hold of their turtles or wherever they're at. Obviously, I don't know if they're still alive, that's just something that I choose not to do. I prefer to have her here until I find her a forever home than to just release her into the wild and God knows what would happen to her. Probably won't survive. So I'm excited for this to happen, but I'm also like, you know, it's a bittersweet moment. It's a very, it's, it's, it's one of those things that you're happy for, but at the same time, like, Wapa represents so much more than just her. You know, she represents the connection between my dad and I. I have an emotional attachment to her, which of course I'm ready to release. And I'm excited for, you know, her new life. So I am going to come back with you guys. Right now I'm letting her roam free as I normally do. And around this time when it gets hotter, I do change her water more often so that she enjoys where she's at a lot more. For those of you who wonder what she eats, I have given her like fresh fish before and though she liked it, she didn't like it as much as the shrimp that I'm currently giving her. So I give her dry shrimp and it's literally like her favorite. Wapa is super smart and she'll literally hear me like coming with the food. She can see and she knows when she's gonna be fed. So we're gonna hang out here for a little bit and then we are gonna let her back in and feed her. She's so funny. Like I'm literally just looking at her walk and she's just like like she'll walk for a little bit and then she'll like look at her surroundings and chill and then continue on with her journey also in case you're wondering i did some research regarding this place that i'm taking her to i looked at on yelp and i looked at reviews we know how good and how important reviews are and everything that was shared there gave me peace of mind that i'm taking her to a really good place so according to the reviews they have a huge pond where the turtles are kept and of course they are fed and they are watched and they are cared for the way that they need to be cared for which that leaves me with huge peace of mind and i also got a text after the whole procedure which i'll talk to you guys about it on the day that we take her that once she's released into the pond they are going to be sending me a video so i cannot wait to get that video and hopefully share it with you guys and you know just make sure and see how happy she is look at her again she went around that way and then like came back this way again <laughs> I know you want food because you're hungry, huh? I'm gonna feed you right now. I'm gonna feed you right now. <sighs> so, I will see you guys in a couple of days. Let's go get her. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? Let's go. There you go. You got it. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Come on. Minty. Good girl. I gotta put you in already so I can feed you. Let's go. Wait. There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, let's go get some food. Let's go get some food. Be right back. She is ready to be fed. She loves this red shrimp, you guys. I got you. Come here. There you go. There you go. Oh, yummy. Her favorite time. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! All right, we're gonna let her eat and I will see you guys when we're ready to take Hey, you guys. 
I have let Wapa out. Today is <laughs> a few days later, the last day that we're gonna get to spend some time with her. I am actually gonna be taking her to surrender her tomorrow. <laughs> so part of the instructions that were sent to surrender her, they said to either get a carton box or just a box where she can be dropped off. So like she's not just gonna be handed obviously. So I stopped by Home Depot today and I got a small box that I'm gonna be, um, you know, just putting together so that tomorrow I can take her in there and drive her over to what's a city i think i'm going to highland i'm going to be going to the city of highland so i can't believe it's actually happening i can't believe the time is here i can't believe the time is now <laughs> i'm excited for her i'm very very excited for her because she deserves the world <laughs> she has come a long way i know and god knows and god knew my heart you know when i kept seeing her where she was and from wanting to take her from there to bring her here and you know my dad being here with her and all of us just hanging out and, and it just being like I said a full circle moment the other day with you know she dad would come out here all the time and spend time with her and just be chilling while he was smoking a cigarette and yeah I mean obviously have a lot of memories <laughs> with the turtle and oh shit she went for it! I just threw her this flower, you guys. Flowers are actually not bad for her and she actually went for it and got it. What? Go ahead, Wapa. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so we'll see what God has in store for me. But as far as Wapa, Wapa will be saying goodbye to you guys. There's an avioneta passing by, so if you hear noise in the background, that's what it is. So yeah, <laughs> this is going to be the last day or the last vlog that we get to hang out with Wapa all together. And I'm really grateful that you guys have been a part of this journey with me here. I appreciate you guys' support and I appreciate you guys' encouragement because obviously I've been connected to Wapa in more than one way. So here we are today, spending the last day with her and tomorrow morning i actually have to wake up kind of early because i'm a, i'm about like an hour and a half from highland i think it's like about an hour and a half and i have to be there at 8 45 a.m to drop her off like at 9 a.m so of course i want to be punctual so i'm gonna get to spend all day today here with her and just chill and do what i always do which is not always taped but you know I get to be here, I journal, I hang out, I let her roam throughout the whole backyard, I, I'm i here watching her and I know a lot of people were asking like regarding hawks and regarding like coyotes or regarding a bunch of other things and thankfully ever since that one neighbor got her, according to her she had her outside her whole entire time and obviously she's alive. To this day I don't know how old she is but maybe tomorrow we'll get a little bit more information and they'll be able to tell us just based on her size i don't know but we'll see i'm excited i'm excited for her to go to a big pond and to be with other turtles and and just see what the life is about i really wonder sometimes as animals like how they feel you know and and how they see things and just so much more you know so we're gonna hang out here and we'll see you guys tomorrow when we are on our way to drop her off don't cry because i promise i'm gonna try not to but it's getting a little emotional right now because i said she is 100 percent connected to my dad and i mean i miss him a lot but here we are good morning good good morning you guys oh wow i'm up extremely early <laughs> not by choice i think i'm i'm excited tengo muchos sentimientos encontrados <laughs> so if you thought i wasn't gonna be sad and if i thought i wasn't gonna be sad i mean here we are i was able to sleep pretty well for the most part and then i kind of woke up very very early i obviously went to sleep with the thought that last night was wapa's last night here at the house and as I've been mentioning throughout this whole time, my dad and her are completely connected. And 
though <laughs> sometimes I've thought about keeping her I do know that she's gonna be better off at a much bigger place in a much bigger pond with other people or maybe in someone else's house who who would potentially do more than I'm able to do at this time so <sighs> I am excited for her but I did wake up like extra early <laughs> So I'm ready to go. I'm ready to take her. I literally was gonna like do my makeup and you know because I have some errands to run and I figured like if I'm gonna be out in Highland I might as well like do some errands or like go out there to whatever stores I need to go to and then come back home and then do what I do. But yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna feel. I mean, I'm very excited um, and I think the reason why I am having these feelings and I feel this way is because of the connection like my dad and I had with each other you know and I mean it's a connection that as close as I am to other family members as close as I am to anyone here in the world like it's a direct connection you know and though I absolutely love my mom and and I have learned to em embrace who she is a lot more now like it still brings up feelings that bird be saying good morning every single day <laughs> and i'm glad he's making me laugh because i don't mean to be crying right now but today is wapa's last day morning here and i'm excited for her i'm excited that we are gonna go drop her off to her new home i'm excited that she's gonna be extremely happy and she's gonna be having a blast and yeah i'm excited it's supposed to be about an hour to an hour and a half drive the bird said he wants to be louder than i do <laughs> just kidding if you guys know what type of bird that is comment down below because it has been here for months and months and months and it is loud like you can even hear it through closed windows and i'm sure you guys know what bird i'm talking about because so many more people than just myself have mentioned it and like i've been hearing it from other people like D have you guys heard that loud like that really loud bird and i'm like i have <laughs> good morning birdie that's another birdie that just came across but today is wapa's last day we are gonna give her a brush off her shell before we hand her off to koi rescue so let's do that how about that i love that she's so like calm you guys like she won't even fight or nothing like that and if you're new here and you were wondering wapa gets a lot of sun exposure which is really good for her shell if you didn't know their shell is actually part of their bones like they are bones ay, ay, ay. Te da come son. Te da come son. so they definitely do feel this that i'm doing to her right now i would imagine it feels kind of like when somebody scratches your back i do it very gently and thankfully she doesn't have algae on her so she is totally fine oh yes you're clean luke let's show them let's show them how clean hi baby thankfully you can see her shell is very very healthy with these turtles you would be able to tell by their shell if there was anything wrong with them but look this is how you know she's a red eared slider turtle because right here they have a red line say bye Thank you for having me. Thank you for rescuing me and exploring with me all this time. Hi. So we're gonna let her do her little walky walk that she loves to do. <laughs> she looks so clean and so fresh. I don't normally take her out to walk this early in the morning, so I'm sure she's like, uh, what is going on? <laughs> I normally take her out once the sun is completely out, but obviously we're going to be leaving in a little bit, so I want her to do her last little walk. You guys, <laughs> I'm sitting here while like Wapa's, um, while Wapa is walking around <laughs> and a hummingbird just came by. 
and this is how i know we're all connected and this is how i know everything is connected because when my dad passed and he's over there playing around i can see him from here but when my dad passed i started to see a lot of hummingbirds and before seeing them i had asked god for a for a sign and a sign from him that like he was always with me And right now to be sitting here like as I have like you know like as Wapa's walking her last minutes here at the house where my dad was and where we were together. This is amazing. <sighs> See? This is why I didn't do my makeup because I just knew like I'm like Amy, you are an emotional being, you are sensitive. And these times though can be happy and joyful because you're doing you know something good for for wapa they're emotional they really are because <laughs> the connection there is tremendous um that i'm grateful i literally like as soon as i woke up i hadn't even opened my eyes and i started praying and I started thanking God for the opportunity that I had to be able to connect with my dad in the ways that I did. Because, you know, he lived here with me. I uh, housed him for, for about six months after we found out that he was terminally ill. <laughs> also, while I was here, I found out, not the type of bird, but I saw four of the birds that I was talking to you guys about. The loud birds. <laughs> Yeah, there's one up here right now, but there was four of them. I'll show you guys the video that I took on. I'll show you guys the video that I took on my phone. But they're loud. Anyways, um, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to come on here and continue to share these last experiences that I'm having with WAPA. Going back to what I was telling you about praying to God, like I was thanking God for allowing me the time that I had, not just with him, but also with Wapa and really just praying for, you know, people to be more graceful and merciful regarding just life, you know, like you never really know what someone's going through. You never really know people's experiences. Sometimes all you see is what they post and you don't really know the behind the scenes you don't really know anything that may be happening and even when i rescued wapa like i wasn't judging the person that couldn't take care of her i wasn't judging anything i just i saw an animal that needed help and i did my very best to care for her and i did my very best to give her what she didn't have before and now she's gonna get <laughs> To go to a much bigger place, she's going to get all of the attention that she deserves because all the animals deserve all of the attention. <laughs> Here she comes. <laughs> Hi, girl. I didn't plan, but <laughs> I knew this was going to be somewhat emotional. I just wouldn't be me if I didn't show you the rawness of the process. I wouldn't be me if all I showed you was the butterflies and the rainbows and the happiness. I decided to put her back in the pool for a little bit. I had already thrown out the water and everything, but to feed her um, also fish. To feed her also her shrimp. So she's getting a full diet of some lettuce and shrimp this morning before she heads out with a full tummy. <laughs> and I put her back in the pool to eat because it is better when turtles eat in the water. That way there's a less chance of them choking and the food can be broken better. Definitely something to look out for. She's definitely enjoying her feast. <laughs> But we are literally like minutes. You guys, we are officially in the car. We have been driving for some time already. 
It is still 56 minutes from where I'm currently at. Wapa's favorite time is definitely not the car. I had not had her in the car since I first brought her. She is doing a lot better this car ride, I think because she actually knows me versus the first time that I ever brought her in the car to come to the house. She didn't know like who she was coming with, so she didn't recognize my voice. She didn't know who I was. And right now she seems to be a little bit, you know, more a little bit more calm than maybe she would have been if she didn't know me but she's still like this is still not her territory she still doesn't know like what's going on with her i do have her in the box right next to me so yeah we're driving we are gonna get there soon definitely a very much emotional encounter that i just was not expecting to be like it is right now i have already prayed <laughs> wow i am letting god guide us i am letting god guide me and guide her and get us there safe and get us there whole and for her life to be fulfilled in ways that i couldn't even imagine and same thing for me you know like Nothing is coincidental and I, I believe that God makes things happen in the way that they're supposed to happen for the for each of us. I am at peace with what's going on in this moment and with surrendering her. Even though it is emotional, like I'm definitely at peace with what's going on. It's just one of those things where, not that it's obviously going to disconnect me from even my dad, but it's one of those things that him and I shared you know while he was here so we'll see how everything goes from the reviews like I told you guys this organization has a lot of really great reviews so I'm really happy about that because it gives me hope in humanity and because it also allows me to be calm and, and rest knowing that she's gonna be taken care of so We'll get there soon. All right, you guys, we have made it to the city of Highland. I am about 25 minutes early <clears throat> from when I can actually drop her off, which would be at 8.45. It's the first time that, <clears throat> or it's 8.45 is the first time that I can, I can drop her off from 8.45 to 9 a.m. I'm going to be dropping her off at a school. You guys on the way over here, you know, you know, I always uh, I always think about a lot of things. I always have a lot of things in mind and just always how God is working in my life and working through me and how <clears throat> regardless of how other people perceive the things that you're doing, the things that you're showing, how you live your life, what you choose to do, who you choose to do it with, like just people's opinions overall. There is nothing greater than what you know you're doing for yourself and for those around you. And other people, based on their beliefs, based on what they think they would do, they give their opinions out to you regardless of the subject. And instead of sometimes being constructive, they come off very judgmental. We've all been that person. I know I've been that person before. And so anytime, and so anytime I feel or I see someone trying to be judgmental towards anything that I may be doing, I right away pray. Like that's the first thing that I do when I'm like, God, what should I do regarding this? I'm gonna park right here because this is the drop-off location. However, like I said, I'm early, so we're just gonna leave it here. But yeah, like I always pray and I'm always like, God, am I doing the right thing? What's, you know, where where should I go from here? And I've learned to not act out of my emotions and I've learned to not judge people out of what I think it's best because I don't ever know all the details and I don't ever know every circumstance and I don't ever know everyone's experience. And just because I would do things one way does not mean that someone else would do them that way. And just because I may want something better for someone else does not mean that they would want that for themselves. Just because I see a lot of potential in, in someone does not mean that they want to live up to that potential. And it they don't have to. It's not their responsibility to live up 
to the potential that you see in them or to do the things that you want them to do or to do the things that you would do if you were in their shoes. So part of being loving and part of caring for others and also part of caring for those that you don't even know and showing grace and extending that compassion and trying to see things in a way where maybe they're not doing the things that you would do if you were in their shoes, but they're still trying to do something. You may not see it because it may not be up to par with your standards, and that's okay. But that doesn't mean that you go out and you talk down on people when they're trying to do something for themselves, for the community, for those around them, in whichever way. So as always, I just wanted to share a little a little insight, a little introspect, a little, you know, thought that I was having as I was driving over here. Let's um, take a look at Wapa. I'm very grateful to be here with her. She hasn't completely enjoyed the ride. She hasn't completely enjoyed the ride, <laughs> but she's here. I obviously cannot be holding her as I'm driving because I would be putting her and myself in danger because this is what she does. You know, she wants to walk and all fair game. This isn't her favorite time, but I know once we get that video and I get to share it with you guys, I'm gonna put her back in the box now. Once we get the video of her, it's gonna be great. I know it's gonna be great. I know she is, you know, I, I prayed about all of this. I've been praying about all this and there's a reason why until now there was an opportunity for me to bring her here and why this didn't exist before or this now just opened up to turtles and before it was just koi fish. I don't know, if I get to talk to someone, I definitely wanna know some details. I definitely wanna know, you know, like what they do, where they stay, like where is this pond? <laughs> and where they're gonna be cared for. So we'll see, I'm in the city of Highland. It's pretty quiet over here. I do have some errands to run like I told you guys, so I will do so that. So more cars are arriving, people are arriving. It is 8.32. I don't know who's a volunteer, like all the cars for right now seem to be like regular cars. So I'm still waiting. Obviously it's still a little too early, but Wapa's pretty calm, very, very calm. So I'm glad <laughs> that she's calm. It's making it definitely less difficult. All right, guys, I am moving the parking lot. It's 8.43, but I wanna reserve a parking lot, of course. It seems to be pretty packed. I, oh, there's parking here. I don't know. I don't know who's who. I wonder if they're gonna come car by car or how it's gonna work because I still don't see much movement. It's 8.47 now. I feel a little sketched out, but also like, I'm like, well, at least I'm not the only one here. So far, they've given me a lot of peace of mind. So let's hope that it continues. I think I'm just nervous. Hey, someone just got here and said, are you dropping off turtles? You're in the right place. It's a couple, how cute. Ahora si voy a llorar. You guys. Quiere llorar y ya lloro. You guys, this is so emotional, but at the same time, I was just talking to the to the lady. I didn't even get her name, Norma. I was talking to Norma and Joseph. They are the two people that are rescuing and that have been having this organization. Wow, I literally just asked her, and this is how I know it's all in God's timing and it's all in God's plan. Because I literally just asked her, like, I have been searching for a place to take Wapa and I haven't found it. Like, when did you guys start rescuing turtles? And she said it's literally only been like almost two Two months so <laughs> I'm like wow I just know this didn't exist before right like it literally didn't and people are literally here like crying you know and from the stories that I'm able to hear from others they they didn't they no longer had space to be able to hold these turtles and Norma was sharing with me that a lot of the rescues actually come from LA and I'm like yeah a lot of people have turtles in LA and think that 
that they're going to be able to care for them and that they're going to be able to have the space for them and they don't so <laughs> if i was the vessel that god used to get wapa to a much bigger place she literally told me like right after as soon as we get to the pond the pond is here in the city of highland i said who cares for them because i've actually seen videos of this pond and she said there's a property and people live there and they care for them and this is what we do for a living and i'm like god bless you like thank you so so much for everything that you do i asked her how she got into it she said well i married him who was joseph and joseph has been doing this for an extraordinary amount of time they allowed us they put them all in in bigger baskets and and there's really little ones and there's bigger ones but honestly you guys like I am just glad that all of these turtles are gonna get a much better chance. I asked her like what happens to these turtles and she said that they either live there forever or some people come and adopt certain turtles. So wherever it is, whether or not like Wapa ends up living in this pond for the rest of her life, I never knew around how old she was. <laughs> I just knew that she was a female based on the characteristics of what she looked like and what I had researched and as soon as Joseph grabbed her he was like oh it's a female and I was like yeah that I know but like how old is she and he was like she's around 10 years old this turtle has been in captivity for about 10 years and before i got her she was literally in a pool where the sun never fully hit her because even though she was in a backyard like they had her on top of a almost like an umbrella that was covering her i don't know exactly how often she was fed and this is not to say that the place where i had her was the best thing ever because i obviously don't believe that it was and i knew that i was only caring for her for the little bit of time but i'm glad i'm glad that people like this exist and i'm glad that places like this exist so if you guys know of anyone here in southern california who needs to surrender their turtle or who needs information regard regarding surrendering red ear slider turtles <sighs> koi fish rescue is from from what i've experienced so far like i i have so much peace of mind for bringing wapa here and for them caring for her they actually started doing koi fish rescues which is what norma was sharing with me and they saw that there was a need for these type of turtles and so they started rescuing the turtles it is amazing what they are doing it is amazing how god works in great ways and when you think certain things are impossible they are definitely possible so i know i have a lot of you guys who stay here in la in california in southern california if you know of anyone who needs this information please share it with them give it to them it is only a 20 dollar donation that helps them i also brought the food that i have been giving wapa which is the dry shrimp and when i brought the whole bucket that i had because i literally just had bought her a new one like last week normal was so appreciative she was like yes they love this i'm like i know like wapa loves this so if you have anything anything that you can send them i'm actually gonna reach out to her and i'm gonna ask her if there is anything and where it can be shipped to if there's an address so that we can you know help this organization because they are doing an amazing job at what they do so wow <laughs> amen this is also a qr code you guys if anyone would like to donate if you would like to donate towards what they're doing you are more than welcome to god is amazing god is big thank you thank you thank you diosito i, I got some videos of all the turtles that are being rescued right now i got some pictures wapa definitely kept hearing my voice and i could tell you know they're animals and they get attached just like you do and obviously you see people here crying and you see people you hear people's story and you know some turtles some of them found them in an alley some of them have had them and don't have the amount of a pond or water or tank that these turtles need and so they are deciding to surrender them so yeah i we're all doing our best here and i think that 
the best thing now to do is if you know anyone please refer them to koi fish rescue all you have to do is go online and fill out a request to surrender your turtle and they are going to give you the address and they are going to give you the date of when you should come and drop off your turtle once they pull up they literally are accepting the turtle and then you just pay your fee and you go on your way if you have anything to bring them you're more than welcome to bring them what you have and if you don't you don't if all you have to do is surrender your turtle surrender your turtle it's a very emotional process and even the lady right now like i can see this lady she is bawling she is crying and i, I mean this is what i've been <laughs> i've been bawling too you know but this gives me so much hope like people like this give me so much hope like organizations like this give me so much hope and humanity because sometimes hope is lost you know and sometimes you don't think that grace is out there you don't think that people are merciful you don't think that people have hearts because of you know the things that they do to you or the things that they do to others and people have hearts you know and to be able to see this and experience this and and share this emotional this emotional roller coaster with you guys has been definitely an experience so thank you so much for coming with me and thank you for all of the support that you've always had with me with my life with everything that i decide to do <laughs> here we are as you can imagine on my way back over here but we got the videos you guys from <laughs> from koi fish rescue we have the videos we have the videos and i'm crying because wapa's free wapa is free and obviously i know which one wapa is and it's awesome to see her jump into the <laughs> the pond the pond is humongous and they're literally just putting them on the rock so that they can go to the actual pond themselves this is so awesome to watch there's a lot of turtles that are as big as wapa you guys and this is such a huge pond <laughs> they're gonna be so happy and you can see all the other turtles oh my gosh i'm overwhelmed i am overwhelmed in happiness for her <laughs> so cute I literally like texted them back and I was like God bless you guys for all the work that you guys do and for all the kindness and goodness that you're bringing to the world this is so cute oh you can see them swimming in the pond and going down because they probably don't know like what that's like you know I know Wapa doesn't how cute <laughs> all these videos are so cute wow god is good man god is big god is good imagine if wapa has little turtles that would be the cutest thing ever Aww. there were literally you guys like the smallest size turtle was like this this small that is so cute honestly sometimes some of us don't know how to help and we think that by i mean at least in my experience you know like i thought i was doing something good for her when i first rescued her where she was at you know and i knew that my intention wasn't to keep her for a very long time but like i told you guys i spent a lot of time like looking to see what places would rescue the type of turtle that Wapa was and I got a lot of answers saying that they weren't taking aquatic turtles which as I mentioned to you guys she's a semi-aquatic turtle they actually like a pond is great for them a tank is good for them but a pond is much better you know and yeah I mean I knew that I couldn't give her that and it's great to see that all these turtles that are being rescued and that are being surrendered like they have a much bigger place to be in i'm glad that they are going to be taken care of and that they're going to be loved so yeah you guys sometimes you know some of us may not be doing things up to par to other people's expectations 
I, in my backyard vibes uh, Instagram reel and my TikTok, I got a lot of negative comments, you know, and I can understand why. Like, I never reacted to any of them in a negative way. If anything, you know, I was trying to take all of the insight and all of the knowledge that other people had so that of course i could apply it thankfully at this time i was our i have already been looking for a place to take her so when i actually when i actually posted that reel in that tiktok like i had already found koi rescue and i had already submitted the request form it literally took a matter of a week and a half for us to be able to get her over here and for her to be accepted and all that but thank you like thank you for all of the research thank you for all the insight i'm not the type of person that cares to be right or cares to defend my side of things you know like i know my heart and i know that what i did for her and what i was doing for her number one was something that i could do and number two it came from my heart you know like that's what i could do and regardless of anyone else's opinion of you know where i had her or how she was i know that she was happy and i know that she was well she was given something more than what she knew as someone that now i've learned you know she was probably like 10 years old eight years old like somewhere up there she didn't know any other life but the life that she had lived so i'm i'm happy i'm happy that people like koi rescue exist now and i'm happy that they're available especially because like we heard and like i learned like there's a lot of help needed here in southern california when it comes to that so i really hope that you guys follow them comment on their page you know share it with the world like do whatever it is that you can you guys know that social media is great and it helps us to learn and it also helps us to to get the word out there so if you guys can share their page if you guys can you know do whatever you think necessary or whatever comes out of your heart to do you can always donate if you feel like you want to donate five dollars like anything anything that they get i'm sure it's helpful and if you don't want to donate you know money it's okay like you don't have to if you want to go like their page if you want to go give them a follow if you want to engage in their post however you think you want to help that's fair like just because someone does one thing does not mean that it fits you and does not mean that you have to do the same thing so yeah i mean i'm very grateful for this organization i'm very grateful for what they're doing i'm very grateful to have had her in my life i'm very grateful that she's free i'm very grateful that she has a humongous pond to swim in i'm very grateful that she's with other turtles i'm very grateful that you know she connected me to my dad in, in more ways than one and I'm very grateful where she's at. I'm very grateful for all the insight you guys shared, for all the information, for all the help you try to uh, give me. Very, very grateful for that. Thankfully, I have learned through my ups and downs and social media and whatnot to not pay a lot of attention to people that are very negative and to people that instead of being and sharing information just want to put you down so i don't condone that behavior therefore i don't enter to that behavior either so if you were one of those people that share helpful information thank you so much for everything that you did i hope that this video is able to share some insight of what this looks like of awareness regarding pet turtles and knowing that you should have the proper tank and knowing that you should know and do the research that you have to do to be able to care for these turtles because they definitely need a lot more water than you think that they need and those little turtles that you can buy at fairs or that you can buy at the swap meets or in downtown LA or wherever they will get really really big and you know like they're pets we should care for our pets and if we can't care for them we shouldn't have them so yeah thank you for being here and thank you for sharing this experience with me and thank you for being so positive and so insightful and so helpful in so so many ways and thank you for sharing this video if you decide to share it with whomever you decide to share it with 
Norma and Joseph are doing a phenomenal job at what they do and I hope that they can get as much help as they deserve because they are doing God's work. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.